Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a big empties video. I have a basket full of wax, as well as a plethora of candles. Now, this is not my Strawberry Week empties, which was a total fail. Um, there was only like... 20% of the things I actually could smell, the rest were totally unscented. It was, it's been a really rough week for melting. I wanted to film this empties video last week. Life just got in the way and YouTube is like not my priority right now. So I really just, I have so many other things that I need to do. And sitting down to film a video requires a lot of finagling in my regular life so I can sit down and have a few minutes to share with you guys. But anyway, I have so many empties to share with you guys. I'm filming this on Sunday, January 29th and uploading it right now. Same time. Done. Edit. Film. Upload. Be done with it. But I will say, as far as like... This week goes, I think I did pretty well. I can't exactly remember, but anyway, again, no strawberry. I mean, there might be some strawberry stuff, but this is not the strawberry week. So diving into candles, I finished a few candles. I finished this one from Bath & Body Works, Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. Total fail. Could barely smell it. Now it just smells gross, and it, again... Like clockwork, every Bath & Body Works candle, once it gets about to here, the flames get super small, and then you can't smell it, and it gets grody and black and just gross. So, a fail, as usual. And then I also have Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. This is from the Neutrals Collection. I love the packaging. Again, I couldn't smell this the entire burn. So, not worth it. Again, I mean, and now they're going to twenty six fifty and twenty six ninety five for like unscented candles that do not perform. Now, whoops! I finished two Kringle candles. Now, before you see all the black here, these candles I forgot at about this much, and I literally just let them burn. And then I woke up, I fell asleep, and I woke up, and they extinguished themselves. And I'm like. Oops, so I do not recommend that. Definitely only burn your candles for about four hours at a time. This is the result of burning a candle for a lot longer than you should. But they still burn all the way to the bottom. And let me tell you, both of these candles were strong from the first burn to the last burn. Yes, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. However, I still love the candles. I will leave my link down below. I'm so excited. Mick and I were talking the other day. And he told me that he's releasing 30 candles in March in the Three Wicks. And I'm so excited. I have not purchased wax the entire month of 2023. I even did not order from the Teddy Bees pre-order, which was so hard for me. It is now closed. And nope, I didn't order. But I say... I didn't feel terrible because I'm not having good luck with vendor wax, and I just find that vendor wax is not for me. So I'm working on destashing it, working on getting rid of it, and sticking with the Scentsy. But anyway, back to candles. I finished Amberwood. This was from the Fall Collection. I really, really liked this. This was a masculine cologne, but it was a very like smooth sandalwood undertone. I was burning this in my bedroom the entire time. And it just, it was not a powerhouse, wasn't like knock you in the face strong, but it just left the room smelling super warm, comforting, and cozy. I know this was part of the fall collection, but it was perfect for those really cold nights. Really like that one. Now this one, Holiday Pop. Ugh, I do not like it. 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 It was too much for me. Now, I know a lot of people rave about, like, Kringle Sicilian Orange. I feel the same about that candle. I do not like the scent. It gives me cat urine vibes. I know a lot of people love it. I just, I cannot get into the Sicilian Orange. I feel the same about this. It doesn't smell like cat urine, but it's that citrus punch. Like, it smells like the picture, like a sangria, like a punch, a fruit punch. But And it was so strong. But every time I burn it, I'm just like... I just don't care for it. I, I don't know. This is not a repurchase. I love the label. Super festive. But yeah, not a fan of the scent at all. So, but burned great. Can't wait. Love my Kringles. I finished this Anthropology candle in Rosemary Baguette. 
There we go. Rosemary baguette. I loved this. This one was burning in the kitchen. Burn all the way down. I love this jar, too. I'm definitely going to reuse this jar. And this just smelled like a fresh baked bread with a little bit of herbs, like that rosemary. It's so good. It says rosemary, sage, and warm bread. Love it. Love the wooden lid. It burned really beautiful in my kitchen. How much were these? These were... $28. Um, I really like it. I like Anthropology's candles, though. So I did that. All right, let's move on to the wax, okay? The first one I finished was Bad Santa from Teddy Bees. I finished this loaf. This was poured on September 28th of 2021, so almost over a year, well, over a year old, almost two years. No, not almost two years. A year and a half. Anyway, it's early, guys. It's early. Okay. Bad Santa. Vanilla Birch, Fireside, and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This was nice. It was like a smooth background scent. Like, I wouldn't say it was like a, a powerhouse by any means, but it was a background scent. I did enjoy it. I still enjoy my Teddy Bees. I finished from the Melted Moose, a custom in Banana, Banana, Banana. Um, this was Banana Cream Pie, Banana Nut Bread, and Banana Pudding. Melted Moose, she just wants to be a doing it for fun, like casually. I don't know, something about joining a Facebook group and paying her through Venmo or something like that. I don't know. I'm done with her. Uh, this Melted Moose, Strawberry Margarita. This one is Sweet Strawberry Puree and Lime Margarita. I have nothing to report. I think these don't smell anymore. So, ugh, Tea Time Tarts. Slowly getting through these. I do not care for Tea Time Tarts. Driftwood, Palo Santo, and Sweet Fluffy Marshmallows. It's like, you can literally see the imprint of it. It's like gooey when you break into it. I've said that before. Very weird. It doesn't like fully melt in the warmers either. It just like sits there and it's like sludgy. I finished Blueberry Pie from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was really nice. Juicy blueberries, spice, sugar, warm vanilla, and dough. This is not a dupe for the Blueberry Pie candle for Bath & Body Works, but it was still really nice. I did it in here, and it lasted the whole day. The beginning of the day, it was definitely really strong, and then it mellowed out throughout the day, but it just had that really sweet, creamy blueberry throughout the day. So really enjoyed that one. Another Tea Time Tarts. This one is in Marshmallow Man which is Marshmallow Musk, Toasted Marshmallow, and Campfire Marshmallow. Can't really smell her stuff. I finished from Salt Mountain Melts, PB&J. I love PB&J. This is the Bath & Body Works dupe. It's strawberry jam, bread, peanut butter, and honey. To me, it smells like a really great piece of toast out of the toaster with butter and really great honey. It's so good. I hope she repours this. Really like that one. I finished a couple samples from Candles from the Keeping Room, birthday cake and ice cream, and strawberry wafers. This strawberry wafers was really good. I did these in the bathroom. Really liked that one. I did Jersey Girl from Sassy Girl Aroma. Uh, this is crispy buttery puff pastry filled with dreamy vanilla, lemon sauce, and pink sugar. This was nice. It was definitely just like a light pink sugar bakery. Nothing crazy. I would not say it was like super yeasty or doughy. Um, it was nice. It was okay. I finished Mr. Bear at the Fair, another sample from Candles from the Keeping Room. I don't remember, to be honest. I finished from Dessa's Vanilla Voodoo. I also don't remember that one. I finished the Queen's Dowry from Teddy B's. This one is strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallows, and pecan waffles. I didn't really like this. I really didn't get much of a throw from it, to be honest. And what I did get from it wasn't really anything crazy. I finished summer strawberry pie, strawberry rhubarb, creamy coconut, and pie crust from the Melted Moose. I finished, I'm trying to get all my non sensi out. I finished Lucy and the Sky, which is Beach Nights. So toasted marshmallows, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores with summer scoop and blueberry. This was nice. It was a very creamy strawberry beach night scent. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma does have the best beach nights. Jughead, cotton hat, hint of leather, and sweet bakery. I couldn't smell this one, like, at all. I did this in my living room because I thought it would be, like, a clean, leathery scent. I didn't really get anything from it. I do have a ton of Sassy Girl Aroma to de-stash. I have so much of it that I'm just not going to melt. If you are interested, feel free to message me here on YouTube, like leave a comment, and you can email me. I have my email linked here too, or Facebook group, or anything like that. I can definitely hook you up with some wax at a good discount. 
Dessa's Homespun Scents Autumn Bliss Bar. This was okay. Like, I, none of this stuff was really memorable, to be honest. Like I said, the vendor wax just is not doing it for me anymore. I finished two samples from uh, Kirby Vintage Chic Scents. Lancelot and Guinevere, which is vanilla lace type. And then Craven, which is warm spice, sugared apples, and vanilla ice cream. I don't remember either of those. Orange Grove from Dessa's. This I actually did really like. I did it in a tea light warmer, and it was like a very bright, crisp orange. It was nice. I finished Taffeta from Sassy Girl Aroma. I did this one in my bedroom, in my bathroom. I don't remember this one at all. From Fantasy Wax Melts, I did Tinkerbell. This is her old formula in Fizzy Pop. I did this whole entire thing in a hot plate warmer in my living room. And I turned it on before bed. So I had it going throughout the night. And like when I wake up, go to the bathroom, get like a midnight snack. When I walk through the living room, this was going. I did it three nights in a row. I turned it on before bed. It was the only thing going in the whole space. And I could smell it. It was really good. Fizzy Pop is a strong scent. I did Shoop from Vintage Chic, which is chestnuts and brown sugar ice cream in a waffle cone with chunks of yellow cake. This was okay. Again, nothing to write home about. I did a small scoop from L3 and Mrs. Doubtfire. This is lemon cream pie, coconut cream pie, and what else? Cream cheese frosting. This was okay. It was, it was a very, very creamy lemon. I didn't really get coconut cream pie. I mainly got like a lemon cream pie. Just a very, very creamy lemon cream pie. And this was old. This is from August of 2021. So I finished that up. Vintage Circus from the Bathing Garden. I also did not remember this at all. I finished a car bar from Scentsy in Snowberry. I like this. It does have a weird undertone to it, though, that I'm not super crazy about. I finished a hand soap in Winter. And now onto the Scentsy. I finished a brick in Welcome Home. I'm trying to work on my bricks. I have a couple really, really old bricks. And this is just not a scent for me. It smells like a craft store. It's like super strong, like cinnamon stick, like very strong cinnamon stick. So do not love that. This I was so sad about. I don't have this in my club and I don't have any more breakfast in bed and I did two whole bars in my living room dining room kitchen these are older bars and I couldn't smell them at all but like look at how it's like turned on the inside like it's definitely turned it's such a good scent it's like very pumpkin pecan waffles-esque to me but um yeah they did not perform which made me so sad all right let's do some bring back my bars hazelnut latte this is not going in my club I could barely smell it and what I did smell was just like a frappuccino. Like I said, like a, a very frothy, creamy hazelnut. It was good, but it's it's not coffee. So, not a fan. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. Coconut pumpkin pie. It's like, it lasted two whole days in my bedroom. But pumpkin pie and coconut are just not a scent I like together. I don't think. Because when I smell it, it's funky. In my warmers, it was funky. The vibe in my room was funky. It just was not like anything that I'm like craving, but it lasted a long time. Yeah, I don't think it's going in the, my club. One that's for not, for sure not going in my club is Sticky Cinnamon Bun. No, this is just cinnamon. Like Patricia Gates here on YouTube says, where's the bun? There's no bun to be had. And... Yeah, so that made me sad. Woodland Suede, absolutely going in my club. I love this one. This is like such a sweet vanilla forward masculine cologne vibe to me. You get the suede, you get the creaminess of the vanilla, you get this like cedar woody, beautiful green notes. Really love this. Definitely going in my club and it lasted a long time. Last but not least, in my air purifier, <laughs> I had Cloudberry Dreams pods. I mean, these are completely unscented now. I don't think the purifier works well with pods. When the new catalog comes out, I need to order a um, air uh, a fan diffuser. I'm just like, whoops, dumping all of the wax in here. But yeah, I need to um, order one of the purifiers or the 
wall fan diffusers for my bathroom. I want to stop burning candles in my bathroom because it's just getting way too sooty in there for being such a small space with burning candles. Because even though you trim your wicks, you only burn them a certain amount of time, candles still produce soot. So I really want to try to convert to a wickless option in the bathroom. Or if I'm going to burn a candle, do a tea light warmer with wax. Because I just need to not be getting all the soot in my bathroom. I need to like deeply clean the walls because... It's definitely sooty, but that's what I finished this last week. I hope you enjoyed. What did you guys get through? It's definitely two really big misses in a row. I hope to have a basket full of favorites soon, but just trying to get through this vendor wax. I have so much of it. I'm de-stashing so much of it. It's just not performing how I want it to in my home, and Sensi is just the way to go as far as like wax goes. It performs so great, and with how long it lasts, it's much more affordable than Vendor Wax. And Vendor Wax is getting a lot more expensive every day. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. And I love you all so much. Be kind. Bye, guys.